remember one day just starting to film random scenes on my phone. There didn't seem to be any thought behind it, they were just random scenes that caught my eye. I wasn't consciously aware at the time that I was documenting the last days of my life. But on reflection it now seems obvious that subconsciously, I was very aware that I was dying. This is where I died, right on this very spot. Right here, look. I was in so much pain, I just wanted to lie down and get comfortable before I die. So I just lie down here, I got really comfy, and then I just died. I knew I was dead, I was in the sky. Not flying in the sky, actually in the sky. A 98% occlusion of the mid-circumflex had starved my heart of oxygen. This caused a cardiac arrest and sudden death. I suffered another sudden cardiac death whilst I was in a coma. I didn't really know what was going on, but I could still film it. My family were so upset when I told them that I felt like a ghost. I thought the defibs had brought me back so quickly that most of me had been left behind in the sky. That's why I built this camera obscura for my phone, so I could show them what it felt like to be a ghost. To be a dead man walking around in the land of the living. I moved into my shed and began to make art every day. I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't work, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I didn't want to be around other people. I didn't want to see them. I didn't want to speak to them. I didn't want to do anything other than just make art. Art matters, it fixes your brain, it gives you purpose and it can heal your soul even after you've experienced the most horrific of traumas. I don't know how it works, it's like some kind of magic ritual that connects you to your true self, to everyone you've ever been. It's how you can remember who you really are and what life is really all about, creation. I've been to death and back and I'm not really sure what the question is, but I know that the answer is art. Was that all right? I think so.